Tujuh minggu berlalu lebih 100 keluarga mangsa nahas MH17 masih setia menanti pengesahan identiti insan tersayang mereka. Bagi keluarga Fredericks, kehilangan anak lelaki dan teman wanitanya masih tidak dapat diterima. Ibu kepada Brice Fredericks, Silen, apa yang tinggal bagi mereka hanyalah kenangan bersama anak kesayangannya itu. I still can't accept what happened. But the grief, the pain, the tears are more bigger than in the beginning. The missing has started. In the morning we wake up, we stand up, and then the tears come. First thing in the morning, I cry. <laughs> I will try to do. What do you have to do? Clean up the house. Found rings. Sometimes someone comes over. And that's how we fill our days. People who come, we talk, do some shopping, cook. In the evening, more people come. I cry a lot. Breeze dan teman wanitanya Daisy O'Hila dalam perjalanan ke Bali ketika MH17 ditembak jatuh di timur Ukraine 17 Julai lalu. Sementara itu bagi keluarga Pandu Winata, mereka berharap keluarga mangsa lain akan terus tabah menanti jasad keluarga mereka. So we're very grateful that the bodies were uh, mostly intact and that they were recovered. I mean, there's so many families that are still uh, waiting in vain and they'll never pro I don't know I ho I hope and pray that they will uh, get their remains back their loved ones back Jasad Miguel dan Shaka Panduwinata dikenal pasti kira-kira 10 hari selepas nahas berlaku Jasad mereka dibakar pada Rabu dalam upacara penuh penghormatan Data rasmi kerajaan Belanda memaklumkan daripada 298 penumpang dan anak kapal yang terlibat sehingga kini hanya 183 yang berjaya dikenal pasti Jumlah itu termasuk 34 rakyat Malaysia daripada 43 yang berada dalam pesawat malang itu.